Bant Double Strike. That is the name of the game here today, and I'm excited to break down this mythic list for you here in today's episode. So thank you for tuning in. As always, down below, I'll have the timestamps where I break down the strategy objective of this list. It is also a standard best of three list, so we'll go through the boarding for you as well, and then we'll go play that competitive magic in both best of one and best of three here today because I'm excited, as you can tell, to play this particular one. Now, this list hails to us from J Double r2 so congratulations bud on hitting mythic with this particular list something that's different something that's not standard meta and i'm excited to feature it here today now if you happen to have a question or comment throughout the episode do let me know because i love to hear from you and come swing by the discord server and join the fellow community as we continue to grow there as well so let's get moving here for our mythic bant double strike list so a couple of key pieces here Traditionally in the Vertruso lists, um, we see that we have the Connives uh, format in terms of, or mechanic, in terms of this particular one, it's generally been Azorus. We've expanded that here to three colors now, um, giving us some additional ability in other spells and giving us this Disciplined Duelist. Say that 10 times fast. Disciplined Duelist. Di no, no, I'm just kidding. Disciplined Duelist right there. Double strike when this guy enters um, the battlefield with the shield counter on it as well, giving it additional protection. Um, the other key here is Mind Link Mech. This thing is going to give your creatures here, well, essentially this, this thing double strike once it's crewed by one and flying when they might not have flying. So very, very powerful there in terms of how you want to think about these things. We also got Skrell here in terms of keeping your board alive. Really want to use this to protect everything on the board. And if you lose Twin Blade Geist, you can bring it back um, and give another creature double strike, which is just beautiful. Now on the top end and the pickup from March of Machine, here is Elspeth. Here we get to create a 1-1 one, one white soldier token with lifelink. Again, giving you ability to kind of survive, play around with this. Additionally, also if you want to get double strike on a 1-1 one, one token, not bad. Or you can also do the plus two or two plus one plus ones on a target creature. It becomes an angel as well. And if you get to minus six, you can cast all non-land permanents with mana value three or less from your graveyard and bring them to the battlefield not bad so you'll get all this fun loving stuff boom back on the board so don't forget about that very very powerful there um in terms of what we have kind of cheap casting abilities things to play around again getting real big real fast here good protection indestructible with tiber stand Pro tip here, you don't actually have to pay the X, so don't forget that um, as an example. But these other ones here are more focused on going over the top. Again, um, getting very, very large. Here again, you get protection, um, gains flying, and toxic one. Um, so don't forget about those. And then scrolls, like we said, again, for additional protection. And then at the top end here, create the end of turn you're going to get a 4-4 angel artifact creature it's also going to gain flying draw a card so very very nice power um some things to think about again with type stand even if you're not going to pay the xx that ability to have hex proof and indestructible could be something to think about um in terms of swapping out on this list um so just wanted to call that out so that is really the strategy objective of this list i'm going to say probably when you're starting you want to have at least one creature in there um particularly one of these two it's kind of like some of the enchantment lists um, that I love playing the Azorus list uh, as as well. So those things that you want to keep dumping on the creature, keep getting the draw, um, primarily that is a huge thing. So I think these two here are obviously a core piece. Um, I'd wait on this one. This is a great one for later. But really those two, in terms of getting them bigger, keep going in and doing damage kind of a thing. Um, you want to be aggressive with this list. You want to take your opponents out fast. You're going to be able to punish them if they're playing any of the Convoke stuff because if they tap out, they're tapped out. and They're going to be in a big, big problem here um, with this one. Obviously, we can go over the top as well with Trample. So uh, very excited to play this one. Um, let's go ahead and talk about boarding. When we talk about boarding, we're breaking down against aggro, mid-range, and late game. Lots of mid-range um, right now in the meta that has definitely been proven in terms of what we've seen, particularly if you've uh stay tuned for our friday night meta weekly series those kinds of things where we break all these things down um 
You got Lorne of the Third Path. We got Swooping Protector here. Um, Tamio. We got Recommission. Um, again, being able to pull something back from your graveyard to the battlefield if it entered, you get a plus one plus one counter on it. Broker's Charm, Swooping Protector already, and then again Tiber Stand. So the way that I want to think about this is against other aggro lists. Um, you can kind of think about maybe potentially moving some of your top end stuff out um, or maybe trying to go over the top. Flash Swoop Protector will give you a blocker and then also the ability um, to go back and deal damage. Um, Tamio here can be nice. Uh, again, exile non land permit card with mana value X from your graveyard. Create a token that's copy that if you need to pull something back. Um, but this is more of a late game one. Um, again, in terms of early game and aggro, you might want to think about recommission. So in case you have to block, um, you can pull that creature back. Broker's Charm here as well. Destroy target enchantment can be good against Selesnya enchantment lists that we're running into. Um, until end of turn, it deals equal or power to target creature. This is going to be good against other creature lists. Um, also, that ability to draw gives you a lot of different outs. Um, things to think about. Again, Tyver Stand is something else that I would maybe throw in there as well against survivability. Then as we move to mid-range, similar. Um, you may want to consider those kinds of things. Now, again, Lorn of the Third Path um, is really big against destroying other artifacts or enchantments when it comes in, so don't forget that. Um, can be okay in the aggro list, depending on what you're playing. Mid-range, certainly. Um, you can take out a lot of enchantments there. Uh, Grixis mid-range is going to have enchantment. Other things will also have enchantments. Um, so think about that as an opportunity. Rakdos, the Rakdos sacrifice list that we've played um, with the artifacts, those kind, the anvil, those kinds of things are good for you there as well. Um, as you move to late game, late game again, I would consider recommission and pulling things back in. Broker's Charm, um, if they have enchantments or if you need the draw, um, can be okay. Additionally, Swooping Protector, maybe a little late, but again, that ability to not die on that direct kill can be helpful. Tyver Stand on, again, um, that ability on Indestructible, and maybe Tamio at the top lane, but again, as we get more late game, you want to be more focused on aggro. As you're more aggro focused, playing in some bigger stuff can be helpful, um, or on top of that, in that mid-range space, just giving you some other options, depending on what they're playing to play around creature base versus um, more of what I would say spell-based uh, in terms of non-creature spells, uh, to kind of think about that. So that is the strategy objective of this list. That is some options there for sideboarding for you and how to think through those things. Let us now go play Magic. All right, lots of speaking, lots of talking, time for playing. All right, let's go find that match in our competitive space. Best of one, and double strike. Just sounds so good. Oh, I went to best of three first. We are going to cancel unless I get picked up. Oh, I didn't get picked up. All right, we're good. I like to keep it in sync, kind of. All right, back to find a match. Best of one. There we go. Okay, we're doing that again. Back to standard. Here we go. Let us see what we can do here. Something different. Um, why well, I want to play this one for you today. All right. Let us go. Are we ready? Daisy. Daisy it is. Yes, we're first. We hit here. Now, the one problem that we have, even though it's turn three, which is good, doesn't have haste. Um, we don't have any spells. We do got all of our stuff. I'm going to try it. I am going to try it because we're first here, um, and we'll work with that. This comes in, deals one damage, deals one damage. We need a white. But let's play this first. We're not going to play anything turn one. Now, it could be okay because we have these. Oh, we got another one of those. We'll see if we live. That wouldn't be the real question here. Now, the key, though, that's really nice here is if we survive through this, I don't know if we're going to, we can play the Mind Link mech, and then we'll keep the Discipled one here. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Five. Four colors already. Turn two. Powerful Phyrexian list.
Powerful, powerful, powerful. Um, so we can't do much there. We will play this for now. Because we got everything we need. Pop that one in here. We'll go fast so that they don't read what the mech does. Now, ideally, what we would like to do is we're actually going to play the second mech if they don't kill it here. Because I think that's the better play. Now, if they don't do that, then we play Dis Discipline Duelist. And we let this thing get that. Enough with the mysteries. I've come for answers. We'll let that go. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? All right, we got our coast here. We'll do this. Now we can crew. I'm gonna keep that on the board. Could be a mistake. We'll find out, but they're gonna have to discard as well. Now, they can't just take the duelist off, unless they have an exile. They have, they'll make us pitch a card. Now, the thing is here, if we want to, we got a second one. That's going to take a lot off this. Now if they attack in, Lily's totally open. And then we can make a decision if we want to keep the mech. Ooh, they're going for it. I think the right thing is to actually pitch the you second mech. Me. Ooh, it worked out for us. So here is what we do. We drop this one. Okay. Now we can do two things. We have lethal, actually. And here's how this works. Eight, six, all attack to the face. Boom, boom. 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 Bam. Bant double strike, baby. Boom, boom. Feels good. I like it. I like it. A lot of fun. See, now we could have split the attacks, but you gotta think if you got lethal. <laughs> very, very nice. All right, let's go ahead now. We're gonna move into our best of three lineup against standard again. There we go. Back to the regular, regularly scheduled program. There we go. I thought after they hit me once, they're gonna do it twice. Uh, and they didn't do that. And again, they tapped out, which was a problem. We will play first. All right, so this is a good start. We got a lot of these on, and we're gonna keep this. Uh, one damage, lots of pain lands here, though. That's okay. If we can stay on it fast, we're gonna be just fine. Now, all I'm going to do, I'm not going to attack in with this. I'm just going to keep putting the pressure on and keep my stuff alive. That is the plan. See, let me just tap one and we can protect this all day long. Just hold it up. Hold it up. That's the key.
So in this particular situation, when we swing in, we can think about playing this. We can think about playing that. We're going to get connive. This will give me four, five, and damage. Right off the bat, we can connive again. We're not going to quite get there. Um, plus one. So four, five, six, seven, 14. Not bad. So we can get rid of this. Now we can think about keeping this one on there if we want to. Uh, might be better to get another one striker. We can play this, get him plus one, plus one, kick this. Uh, again, that will get us to seven, but let's do this for now. The other reason why I want to hold this one up is if we need to keep this thing alive, we can keep it alive with Tiber Stamp. If we want to play it that way. We do have this to keep this alive though. Let's try that. Alright, so one thing that we can do is we can cast this onto him now. That should kick the knife off. And if it gets too big, that's what I was waiting for. Pay zero. Confirm zero. There we are. We can get enough. So let's look at the stack. We're going to get one off this. I think I want to keep that. We'll keep Elspeth. Um, we're only going to get it to four, which is not lethal. So we'll keep that, kick that off. Now we can land Elspeth, which is fine here. Now, don't forget, we can pull everything back at three if we get this to six. Boom! There we go. There we go. Nice. All right. So, uh, we need Tyvars here. We can bring these back. We can bring those back. Um, what do we have here specifically? Toxic and Flying. I'm going to drop these. I'm going to grab those two. We need another Tyvar stand in here. Um, and I'm going to get rid of that because it's a little slow. I might get rid of that. Go down to two. I'm going to keep... Oops. I'm going to keep that. And that. Part of it is so that I can cycle faster on some of those cards while I'm keeping that. We'll keep the rest in play. Um, again, if we need to switch things around, we can do that. We'll keep that. Oh, it's, this could be decent. Again, that flash a little late though against that control list. So we'll see how this works. I was hoping that one three had hex proof actually. Problem on the lands. The mulligan. Alright, that's okay. Don't like the double Elspeth. We can pitch one.
I'm assuming they're going to keep taking these off. Ideally, we drop this and that. I'm tired of your secrets. There we go. Now the question is, do we pitch this or not? And then we'll find out. Depends on what they play. One of your friends has to leave. not going to go there. We're going to try and kill it. Ah, you couldn't be more annoying. Whatever. Luck favors the foolish after all. Oh, wait. Ooh. I didn't want to overcommit the board here. Ideally we could have got a land there and got Elspeth on, we would have been sitting really nice. But we did. Under my leash, neither vampire nor human will go extinct. My ways are not for the weak. Spell Pierce. That's a problem. How dare you? They Your had it. Will be mine. Not bad. Cheap spells. Nothing That's gonna get Truso. Ice down. If we can do it, I get locked out. They're getting through their list, and we don't have the protection that we need anymore, which is a problem. And Soren can keep them moving. Blood for knowledge, a fair trade. All right, here we get it this time. We may end up using two. They may try and get it with the one. Oh no, because even if we get the three on, it's still four. Oh, another three. Brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. We do want our opponent to play out the list so that we can kind of see what else they have. Um, well, they are running Esper, obviously. So. Oh, they got Shredder in there. Okay. I think we go to the next match. Take first. We weren't going to come back from that. We didn't have anything we could protect it with. Again, those things make sense. We might want to think about this in the four slot now. Um, may do that just to get some other closing in there. Got too many, though. Want the protection. We don't need the trample. Cheap spells are nice though. I'm gonna go down to two. Let's grab that. All right. Need something else. A little bit heavy though, on the top, which I don't like. Um, but again, those 
other ones that gave you hexproof, those kinds of things could have been real good. All right, we can stick with this for now. We can play similar strategy there with that one. We do need that green land though. If we don't hit that, we're gonna be in a problem world. Kill it. Here it comes. Oh. Painful. So painful. Missing the drop is probably going to cost us this match. That will cost us the match. Because we can't get... We didn't get that on, and they wouldn't have been able to remove that. Which would have been... They might have a slip here now. Okay, we're good. We're still in. Out of my way. I have a way to stop. Alright, so you this we absolutely need to take care of. Instead of going to the base, I am going to... Well, we don't have another creature. We could do that, but that's not going to give us enough. We can make it 7-7. Seven, seven. Nope, 6. We can make it a 6. Figure out if we want to let that guy live. Ooh, there we go. Um, let's kick this thing. There we go. Alright, so we have enough to play this. We have enough to get lethal on if they don't put a creature on the board. Now, if he plays a creature, though... There, he got it figured out. See, and the problem... We, oh, we didn't... We could have played that one first. Which is too bad. Um, so here's what we do. We're going to do this first. Play around it. And we'll go against this. So I'm kind of keeping this stuff protected. I can play this on this next time too. So there's a couple things I can do here. If they leave it open, we'll go for the kill. That is a big investment there for them. The question is, are we going to be able to get it off? Yeah. We can save everyone. You will shine bright here. Now we will swing in for both here. We need to make sure that that goes off. So now we need to figure out, and again, minus three gets this back in, all this stuff in. We don't want to keep being distracted. Ooh. That opens a lot up there for lethal. 
Let's see what they do. We need them to tap out. It's Second not enough. Ooh, there we go. I am a blade in Very nice. So we can do a few things here. We can do a few things. Um, how do we want to play this? Let's grab that guy. Now we can do the double striker here. That doesn't have trample yet either. They're gonna block whatever they need to there. 16. We have enough if they go that route. It's not going to matter there. doesn't work that should be enough of a distraction can't attack or block but we can still crew might have a slip though let's see what we got here now we have lethal with this punished them. As for friends, we punished it. Woo. Very, very nice. Ooh, that was a nail biter. Not bad, not bad. Really like that. It is a punishing deck. Absolutely bant double strike. It's hard. It goes boom and burr. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Having too much fun there. All right, let's go back and pull this all together as we always do. So we played some standard best of one and best of three with this best of three list. Bant double strike, a mythic one um, to say the least by our friend JRR2. Congratulations, bud, on a healthy, fun list here. Something that's different, creative um, in terms of the current meta. What's funny is I was actually thinking about something like this. Um, and really like what you've put together and am happy to have featured it here today on the episode. So thank you for sharing it. With that said, we did go and crush best of one. We did play one match, best of three. We did go two. We won two matches, lost one of them, and ultimately pulled it all together for the big W, which is really nice as always. So as always, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this community. On top of that, also to the members, thank you for that additional support. With that said, we got a ton of ways to stay connected here on the channel. Please feel free to swing by the Discord server if you happen to have a question or comment, do let me know. On top of that, stay tuned. We got a ton more Magic the Gathering, March of the Machine headed your way here as always, and a ton of content for you available on the channel. Take care, until next time, Mithras, out of here.